Hi, this is Misty Johnson with the Zanesville Museum of Art and welcome to another material exploration video. This week at the, at the museum we're focusing on light and dark. And so I was going to show you just some really, a really simple way to create lights and darks when you're painting. And when we're talking about color, the lightness or darkness of a color is called value. So I'm going to be showing you, again, simple trick to add some value to your paintings. So what I have here is one solid color. And so I made roughly an apple shape and this is straight out of the tube. This is some acrylic paint that I just had around the house, but it can work with any kind of paint. So one single value right here. And what I want to do is add some lights and darks. So if I want to add, if I want to create a darker value, the easiest way is to add black. So if you notice another little handy trick, old egg containers make great palettes. So when you're making, when you add black to a color, that's called a shade. And when you're creating a shade, it's always best to take the black paint and add it to your color because a little bit of black goes a really long way. So we're going to take just a little bit of black and mix it with this red right here. And just so that on camera you can see this a little better, I'm going to add a little bit more so it, it's a really obvious shade of the color red. All right, so look at that. See how dark that is. It's a nice dark shade of red. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to use the shade to create a shadow on my apple to give it a little bit of the illusion of being three-dimensional. So I'm just going to take this and add it to one side of my apple. So it kind of looks like kind of looks like a shadow on my apple. So that's adding dark to create a shade. Next thing I'm going to do is use white. When you add white to a color, that creates a tint. And so that's a lighter value of the color. And I'm just going to run and grab a different brush. All right, and so for for a tint, adding white to a color. This time we're gonna add the color to the white because it doesn't take a lot to change that white into a tint of the color. So we're gonna take a little bit of red here and mix it with this white paint. And we have a nice tint. So now we have nice kind of a pink color which is the tint of red and I'm going to add that to the other side of my apple to give it some highlights so that again helps give it the illusion of having some three dimensional aspects to it. And so this is just three different values of the same color. So we have our straight out of the tube red, and we have a shade where we added black and a tint where we added white. But you can create kind of an infinite number of, of values for this color just by adding different amounts of, of white or black. So if we wanted to give some really bright highlights. We would go back with even a lighter tint. And you can actually even add straight white to it just to give it give it that 
illusion of, of having a highlight on there. And so what I would do is I would continue to mix and just blend all these real smooth together and then my apple would look like it was popping off the page. So if you want to try this at home, um, grab a paint color and add black for shades, whites for tints, and create a lot of different values in your painting. And if you try this, we'd love to see it. If you share that on any social media with the hashtag MyZMAArt, we would love to see those. And thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.